I'm Suman Chakravarti, uh, professor in the mechanical engineering department. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, speak a few words, uh, primarily addressed uh, to our undergraduate students, uh, that uh, days are changing very fast, and uh, undergraduate studies are no more those book bookish kind of studies which were there uh, some years back. There is a lot of opportunity for undergraduate students to take part in research work and in that way the undergraduate students can synthesize their learnings better and use those, their learnings to design products or come up with effective devices or come up with nice analysis and I believe that using their intelligence and abilities uh, and with a little guidance from uh, professors or senior PhD students, they can do wonders. I mean, and uh, it is possible to come up with uh, excellent high quality publications, research publications or patents and uh, as a teacher I would always like to encourage these kinds of activities. That undergraduate students do not have any clear idea that how to go about it, that whom to approach and uh, where to begin with. I would say that uh, please visit the websites of the respective professors, see what they are doing, uh, look into their list of publications. Of course, it is uh, virtually impossible for a beginner or a junior undergraduate student to understand what is there in the publication, but just he or she can get a feel of the area of research and then they can approach, he or she can approach the professor and I'm sure that each and every professor will like uh, such uh, to uh, advise or guide such few such students and uh, because it not only strengthens their own research, uh, it uh, helps uh, in developing the culture of education that is educating the young minds for doing quality research. Research these days is highly interdisciplinary. So it is very difficult uh, to figure out that which research belongs to mechanical engineering, which research belongs to electrical engineering, which belongs to physics, chemistry, life sciences or whatever. So because of this interdisciplinary nature of research, what I feel is that uh, students should get exposed, or undergraduate students should get exposed to the new directions or the new frontiers along which research is advancing and to do that they should do research uh, or I, I think they should be encouraged rather to do research involving multiple teams, maybe multiple institutes. So within the institute we have uh, several research groups which collaborate together to do some research uh, uh, or to come up with some effective uh, new product or new design these kind of things undergraduate students can take part in. Also, it is possible that uh, uh, there are inter-institutional research teams and uh, students take part in that. Uh, very often uh, we have undergraduate students who are parts of this international or national collaboration and I think as teachers we should encourage them more and more to be parts of this so that they understand that these days research has no barrier. Not only that, students should work not only in traditional areas of research but also in cutting edge technologies and they should work for uh, the betterment of the society in a way that uh, they should address the needs, the current needs which are important both globally and as well as nationally. For example, if we talk about three important problems or research problems that people are uh, concerned about throughout the world, not just in India. So one is uh, clean environment, that is uh, uh, maybe clean water, clean air, this is a big issue. The other is energy, that is we require energy for sustaining life. And the third is low cost but high quality and affordable health care. So environment, energy and health care, 
these are very important areas of research these days and these kinds of research require interdisciplinary effort it is not true that for a research on healthcare for example a medical practitioner or a biologist will only take part there are several issues in which engineers can intervene and therefore it is important that one forms an interdisciplinary team and uh, it, it is it will be very nice if more and more undergraduate students come forward at least i will be personally delighted to uh, help them and uh, involve them in the research activities in which uh, uh, my own research talk about one of our beautiful experiences uh, uh, in an Indo-US project. So, uh, uh, this project has been generously funded by the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum and there are several universities, uh, some universities from the US and some universities from India uh, which collaborate together to form a research group and the research group is working towards solving some challenging problems starting from uh, fabrication over small scales to uh, medical diagnostics. So such a wide range of uh, processes and systems they are addressing. And uh, from IIT Kharagpur side, I have been the principal investigator of one of such projects. And we, the most beautiful thing that I liked about this project is the student exchange program. So we have uh, had a student exchange program with uh, universities in US like the University of California at Irvine or University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and several other universities, I am just naming a few and uh, my students have visited those universities uh, and they have taken part in active research there when universities who have visited our institute this and uh, not only that, uh, they have done research along with us and they have also taken their research further forward when they have gone back to their own country. So effectively, uh, we are having throughout the year as the time when the research is being conducted. Maybe partly a student stays at his or her own institute, partly the student stays in the other visiting institute, but the research goes on seamlessly because there is a team when the students from U US universities are there in our lab uh, they are collaborating with our students, but when they have returned, they are continuing the research in their own place, as well as our students are also continuing research in our own place, and they are taking it further forward when they are going to US universities. So in this way, research is seamlessly going on throughout the year, and it is. I would like to point out that it is not just a matter of uh, enjoying research; it is a mat It is also a cultural fun because. Uh, it, it is an exchange of different uh, cultures and students from different backgrounds and you know, students from US univers universities need not necessarily be just US citizens. They are from various parts of the world and our own students when they mix with each other, I think that uh, at the end they become more mature individual who know how to enjoy their research.